So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create avatar video using HeyGen from Google Sheets. Let's say I own a digital marketing agency and whenever we onboard a new client to personalize their onboarding experience, we create a video message and send it to them. But creating a video for a client can be tedious and time consuming task. So we have completely automated this process. In this automation, we just add the text content of the video in our Google spreadsheet. And using Public Connect Automation, we send the same text content to HeyGen and using HeyGen, we create an avatar video over here. After creating the avatar video using HeyGen, we are going to update the link of the created video back into the same Google Sheet as well. And in this way, the team just add the text and within few minutes, the video is ready to be sent. Now, if you want to learn how you can completely create this automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Google spreadsheet in which I'm entering some text content on which I want to create a video using HeyGen's avatar model and also entering some other details as well. Now I want that whenever I enter a new text content and some other details in a new row and select the status of that particular row or that content as generated over here, using HeyGen, I want to generate an avatar video. And after generating the video, I want to update the link of that same video in my Google spreadsheet in the same row. So basically, we want to automate the process of generating avatar videos using HeyGen from our Google spreadsheet. Now to do this, we are going to connect this Google sheet with HeyGen. And we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration platform. Now to get started with Pavli Connect, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just create your free Public Connect account in two minutes. After coming to this Public Connect dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as Google Sheets to HeyGen. Then after that, just select the folder of the Public Connect account in which you want to set up this automation and click on Create. And as you click on Create, here you can see the workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger step. Now the idea here is, first we are going to connect our Google spreadsheet with Public Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new row of data or text content is added over here, whenever a new row of details is added, automatically the data of that complete row will be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. So now to that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to set up a filter condition. So we have two different status for the text content or the details which we are adding in Google Sheet. In the drop down, we have two options, generate and draft. Now, if the keep the status as draft over here, in that case, we don't want to generate the video. But if we select the status or change the status of that particular row to generate, only in that case, we want to send the data to HeyGen to generate the videos. So we are going to set up a filter condition that if the status of this data, if the status of the response received inside Public Connect is generated, only in that case, we are going to continue this automation after that. After setting up the filter, we are going to send the details or the text input received from Google Sheet to HeyGen and start generating the video. Now, HeyGen basically takes some time to generate the videos as well. So we are going to add a delay in this automation workflow so that after some time, we are going to retrieve the video which is generated by HeyGen. And after retrieving the video details and URL, update the same video URL in our Google spreadsheet. So let's see how it is done. To get started, here in trigger step in choose app, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now we have to add this webhook URL in our Google spreadsheet. And to add the webhook URL, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here and go to your Google Sheets. After coming to the Google Sheets, let's go to Extensions, Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. And after clicking on Get Add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here in Search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. 
After refreshing your Google Sheets, once again we'll go to extensions and you can see Public Connect by Books, this add-on over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. Now as we click on Initial Setup, the box will appear in front of us. And in this box, we have to basically enter three basic details. Selected Sheet, Webhook URL and Trigger Column. So in Selected Sheet, we have to select the particular sheet in which we are entering the text content and from which we want to send the new data to Fably Connect. Right now, in this Google Spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as Sheet 1. That's why by default, it has selected Sheet 1. Then it is asking us for the Webhook URL. Now here in Webhook URL, we have to enter the exact same Webhook URL which Pabli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. After pasting the Webhook URL, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet in which we are going to enter any data manually over here. So column F is going to be my trigger column because it is the last column in which I am going to enter any data. After column F, in column G, using this automation, we are basically going to update the video URL after generating the video using HN. So I'm going to enter the trigger column as column F. Then after that, just click on send test. And as we click on send test, here you can see the data of the very first row after headers, the data of row number two is now sent to Pabli Connect. And here in our Pabli Connect workflow as well, in the trigger step, you can see we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the same detail. You can see the same width over here. You can see the same response of trigger column, which we have selected. You can see the same text content, which we have entered in our Google Sheet. Then you can see the same status that is generate. Then after that, here you can see the same row number that for the data from which particular row we have received. We have the same height, caption status, avatar style, and all of that. So in this way, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now here in our Google spreadsheet, we will just click on this submit button. And after clicking on submit, you can see it is showing us that the setup is configured successfully. Now after this, one second, we'll go to extensions, Pabli Connect Webbox, and this time we have to select this option of send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever a new row of data is added till our trigger column, immediately, instantly send the data of that complete row to Pabli Connect. After getting the data from our Google spreadsheet, what we want to do, we want to set up a filter condition over here. And the filter condition will be on the status column, the status response. If the status of the video content is generated, only in that case, the automation workflow should be continued further. And only in that case, we want to basically generate the video for this text. So to set up the filter condition, we'll just scroll down, come to this action step, and here in choose app, select filter. After selecting filter probably, just select the action event as filter values and click on connect. After clicking on connect, it is asking us for the label. And here in this drop down of label, you can see a list of all the responses of a new row which we have received from Google Sheets. Out of all of this, we want to set up a filter condition on the label of status over here. So we are going to select the label status over here. And then after that, the filter type will be equals to and the value will be generate. So we have created this filter condition that if we get the response of status equals to generate, only in that case, the automation workflow will be continued further. If we get any other status other than generate, if we, the status is dropped or anything else, in that case, the automation workflow will not be continued further. So now after that, let's click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see it is showing us that the condition is true. Now after setting up this filter condition, what we want to do, we want to send the same data to HeyGen to start creating the video. Now to do this, just click on this add action step button and then here in choose app, search for HeyGen. Just select it. After selecting HeyGen as an action application, in action event from the dropdown, select the action event as create an avatar video. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our HeyGen account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of our HeyGen account. Now you must be thinking how you'll get this API token. To get the API token, just go to your HeyGen account and from the left sidebar, just click on this profile option and go to space settings. Under space settings, you can see this option of API. Just click on it, copy the API token from here, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting the API token, just click on save. And as we click on save here, you can see, 
or Hagen account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the avatar ID. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the avatars offered by Hagen. And if you have created your own avatar in your Hagen account as well, in that case, you will see the same in this drop down. So from here, from here, this drop down, you have to select the avatar using which you want to create the avatar video. Let me select this avatar of Nick in black shirt. Then it is asking us avatar style. So we have basically entered the avatar style over here in our Google spreadsheet. So in avatar style, we have three options, close up, normal and circle. And the same three options can be seen inside Public Connect. So what we want to do, we want to select the avatar style from Google Sheets. So we'll just turn the mapping button on in front of it, clear this default response. And here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous two steps. So from the Google Sheet responses, we are going to select the response of avatar style and map it over here. In this way, whatever style we are going to select in the drop down from Google Sheet, using the same style, the video will be created in HN. Then it is asking us for the input text. So we have received the input text from Google Sheets as well in the trigger step. So once again, we'll use the same process of mapping. Just click on this field. From the drop down from Google Sheet responses, select the response of text content over here and it will be mapped. So using mapping, you can basically map the responses of previous step to the action step from the trigger step or the previous step to the next step over here. So likewise, we have basically mapped the response of input text, which we have received from Google Sheets in the trigger step to this action step of Hagen. Then it is asking us for the voice ID. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the voice IDs which are offered by Hagen. Now let's say I'm using the video of Nick, so I'll be using the voice of Nick as well. If you have created your own video avatar or added your own voice, you can select the avatar and voice ID as per your choice. Then it is asking us test that whether we want to use the test mode. So right now I'm just setting up this automation. So I would like to use the test mode. So I've selected yes over here. Then it is asking us for the captions. So yes, I want to add the captions in my video. So I'll be selecting captions as yes. Now, if you want to add the captions or not, you can just enter this option in the drop down from Google Sheets. So what you can do, you can just turn the mapping button on, clear the default response and map the response of caption status from the Google Sheet responses. In this way, we can select in our Google Sheet itself that whether we want to add the captions in this after video or not. Then we have width and height. So we have entered the width and the height of the video in Google Sheet as well. So once again, we'll use the same process of mapping from the drop down, select the response of width and map it. And also the response of height as well. You can basically enter any width or height of the video which you want to generate using Hagen in your Google Sheets itself. After mapping all the details over here, let's click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And in this response, we have received the video ID over here. This means all of these details are now sent to Heijan and Heijan is generating the video on the basis of the details and the text input, which we have given. Now what we have to do, we have to basically allow Heijan some time to generate the video. So in this automation workflow, we are going to add a delay. We'll just scroll down, click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, we'll search for delay. Let's select it. After selecting delay in action event from the drop down, select the action event as add time delay and click on connect. After clicking on connect, it is asking us how much delay you want to put in workflow. And in the drop down, we have two options, delay for and delay until. Let's say I want to delay my automation workflow for 10 minutes or for 15 minutes. So we are going to select delay for. In delay unit, we are going to select minutes and in values, I'm going to enter 15 over here. Now, how much time of delay you are going to add in your automation workflow, it basically depends that how long your video is or how big your text input is in your Google spreadsheet. So if you want, you can enter the delay time in your Google spreadsheet as well on the basis of the text content which you are entering for that particular video. So I'm just taking a rough time and average time of 15 minutes to generate the video, but some of the video will be basically generated earlier and some of the video will be basically generated later as well. So on the basis of text input, you have to basically enter the delay time over here. Now here for a rough figure, I'm entering 15 minutes of delay time. You can just modify it as per your video creation requirements. After adding the delay, just click on save and send test request. And as you click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And here you can see that this automation workflow will be delayed for 15 minutes after this step. Now after delaying the automation for 15 minutes, what we want to do, 
we want to basically retrieve the video over here. So in the previous step of create an avatar video, we have basically sent all the details to Heijin and Heijin was generating the video and we have received the video ID in the response. But now using this particular video ID, we want to retrieve the video and the video URL. So for that, let's click on this add action step button after delay here in choose app. One second, we are going to search for Heijin over here. After selecting HeyGen, an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as retrieve a video. Click on connect and because we have connected our HeyGen account with Pabli Connect in the previous step, we don't have to make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. And as we click on save here, you can see once again, our HeyGen account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for the video ID. So instead of selecting the video ID from the dropdown, we are going to turn this mapping button on and clear the default response. And after clearing the default response, from the responses of Hagen action step of create an avatar video action step, we are going to select the response of video ID and map it over here. In this way, whatever video ID we are going to get in the previous step, in this step, we are going to retrieve the video for the same video ID, for the same content. Now let's click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And in this response, we have not received the video URL or other details because the video status is still processing. So Hagen AI is still processing or generating this video over here. And that's why we have added the time or delay of 15 minutes. So we are allowing Hagen a sufficient amount of time to generate the video. And after that amount of time, we will be retrieving the video details and the video link. So what we are going to do, we are just going to wait for some more time over here. Okay, so now we have successfully waited for 5 to 10 minutes. Now let's click on this save and send test request button once again and check the status of the video. And yes, here you can see that the video creation status is completed and also we have received the different URLs or links. Here we have the caption link over here. Then after that here you can see we have the GIF link of the same video. Then we have the thumbnail link and the video URL. So this is the URL. This is the link of the video generated by AI or HeyGen over here. So in the new tab, we'll just open the exact same video and this video will download on my system. Let's play this video once. Hi, John. Welcome to XYZ Marketing. We're excited to have you on board. Our team is committed to helping your business grow and achieve great results. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Let's create something amazing together. Okay, so you can see that this is the video for the same input text which I've entered in my Google spreadsheet. So we were creating some kind of welcome videos or greeting videos for our new clients in our marketing agency. So this was the text which I've entered and the video is successfully generated. Heijan has created a great avatar video over here. Now after generating the video, what we want to do, we want to update this video URL over here back in our Google spreadsheet in the same row. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step for the last time. This time we are going to search for Google Sheets over here in the action step. And after selecting Google Sheets, in action event from the drop down, select the action event as update cell value. After selecting this action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google spreadsheet with Pavli Connect in the action step. For that, just click on this sign in with Google button, select your Google Sheets account, after selecting the account, just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, here you can see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, here it is asking us to select the spreadsheet. That in which particular spreadsheet we want to update the cell. So the name of my spreadsheet is Client Video Greetings over here. That's why you can see in this drop down, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which I have in my Google Sheets account. Out of all of them, we are going to select the spreadsheet in which we want to update the data. Then it is asking us to select the sheet. In this dropdown, you can see only one option of sheet one because in this Google spreadsheet, we have created only one sheet as sheet one over here. So we are going to select the same sheet one over here as well. Then after that, it is asking us for the range that in this complete sheet, in which particular column, what is the range of the cell we want to basically update. So what we are going to do here, you can see that the column in which we want to update the data is column G, but the row number will be keep on changing. And we have received the row index, the row number in the trigger step responses. So in range, we are going to manually enter the column over here. But here from the trigger step responses of Google Sheet, we have received the response of row index. So here from the trigger step responses, we are going to map the response of row index over here. So the complete range will be G and then whatever row number in which 
we are going to enter the data whose response we have captured in the trigger step. On the same row, the video URL will be updated. After entering the range, it is asking us for the value. So we'll just click here and after retrieving the video from the Hagen responses, we are going to select and map the response of video URL. So in this way, we have basically selected the spreadsheet, selected the sheet, entered the range of the cell in which we want to update the video URL and entered the video URL, map the video URL as well. Now after entering all the details, let's click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. This means here you can see this particular video URL is now updated in this particular cell of the sheet. So let's check it. We will just go to a Google spreadsheet and yes, here you can see that the video URL is now added over here. And this is the video URL for the same avatar video which is generated by HeyGen AI. So this means we have successfully created this automation using which just by entering the text input and some other details in our Google spreadsheet, we can automatically generate an avatar video using HeyGen and add the video URL back in the same sheet in the same row. Now after setting up this public connect automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. For that, what we are going to do, we are going to enter some new text content over here. So I have already copied the text content, I just pasted it over here. The name of the person is Jesse over here and this is the text content for which we want to generate the video. After this, let me just select the avatar style and rest of the details. So basically the avatar style is normal, the caption is false this time, we don't want the caption. The width and height is also the same and here in this drop down, I want to generate the video. So I'm selecting the status as generate. So as we click on generate here, you can see the data of this complete row will be sent to Pavli Connect. And using Pavli Connect, we are going to send the same data to Heijan and Heijan will start creating this video over here. And in the history section of our Pavli Connect automation workflow, you can check that, that this data is received. So what we have done, we have successfully received the data from Google Sheet in our automation. And in the filter step, it has checked that whether the status of this video is generated or not. So we have selected the status as generate over here. That's why the filter step is showing the condition is true. And then the same data is sent to Heijan to start creating the video. And after sending the data, this automation workflow is delayed for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it will retrieve the video URL over here from Heijan and update the same video URL in our Google spreadsheet. So what we have to do, we just have to wait for 15 minutes over here. And yes, exactly after 15 minutes, you can see the video URL is now added in our Google spreadsheet. We'll just open this URL over here and a video file has been downloaded. Let's play this file as well. Hello, Jesse. Thank you for choosing XYZ Marketing. We're thrilled to start this journey with you. Our goal is to make your experience seamless and your business goals achievable. Stay tuned for updates and don't hesitate to contact us anytime. Here's to your success. And yes, here you can see that this is the exact same video for the same text which we have entered in our Google spreadsheet. So this means the automation which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine and you can completely automate the process of creating avatar videos using Hagen from Google Sheets. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, You'll find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and start using this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you'll get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Fabric Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.